Hi friends, today we are going to see how we can create email notification utility using Java programming language. So this is the first part of this uh, POC application. So, so what is the idea behind this POC? So you can read here like this POC model will allow sending an email notification. This feature will be designed as Jamboree in case any new application needs to send an email notification. This module can be used without doing changes. So we will be creating this POC for sending the email notification and we will design this application flexibility we will provide the flex flexibility in the application like in case if there any other future future application needs the same kind of functionality we can just add that application as well and we can use it there as well so technology use so we will be using as a java 11 as a programming language and for the framework we will use spring boot framework it's a very popular in java and for the backend database we will use mysql as a database and we will be also doing some gmail smtp settings so this will allow us to send the mails from the gmail and tools we will be using spring tool suit this will be used for the java programming and mysql workbench we will be using for the mysql database access and postman for testing api like we will be creating some rest api so there we will use postman to test them if you like this video please like it and also share with your friends comments for your suggestions and also subscribe to my channel you can also turn on the bell notification to get the notification of my latest videos and latest uploads on the channel so this is the first part like this is the overview of the poc so they uh, for the for easy to understand i have divided it in seven parts overview of poc first one second one installation of mysql database and this one is optional in case let's say you have database already installed on your system you can just skip it third one get the database ready with the with the required tables so here we will be creating the mysql tables that we need to use in the application uh, fourth one java plus spring boot tool so spring tool suit installation this one is also optional in case let's say you have this development environment set up ready in your system you can use that and you are free to use any other also uh, id let's say you have some other id for the java programming you can use that as well fifth part we will be doing programming with java plus spring boot sixth we will be doing smtp settings so we can send the mails from there and this seventh part we will be doing some manual testing and we will see how the mails are going and you can note down i am doing all this implementation on windows 11 system there can be minor changes based on the system and environment used for implementation so here i will show you what kind of sample email we will be sending here so you can see the, this one is a very simple one so here i am just sending a simple mail this one is simple mail like just we are sending some message second one you can see this is uh, this is also same but we have some attachments here two images are attached one word document and one excel document has been attached going to sample template third so in the third sample we have the html body see you can see how fancy it is like if you have received some of the mails from your broadband your bill is generated then we have all these fancy things they they makes the things looks better to their customer and also with this we can send some attachment as well and coming to number four this is also an html template and you can see this content you can see dear naveen sharma this is a dynamic content and naveen sharma will come dynamically this this api call will be flexible you can pass the parameters and it will use them so all this highlighted one november 2022 bill amount and thousand and all this are will be dynamic and same template can be used with the different values so let's say and different templates can be used 
so you can see this one is the template for bill generation invoice generation and second one is template for the NPS contribution so that's all from this session stay tuned for next next part of the video bye bye